and how you can be in the top 10% of traders that make money consistently, right? So jump into the video. Yes, so you've seen from the title, why is it that most traders lose money consistently? What's the main reason that contributes to traders losing money consistently? The number one reason is because they don't have a long-term goal. Most retail traders don't have a long-term goal. What they are most concerned about is making money right now, making money on this trade, making money right now. That's the reason why they end up losing all their money. Okay? So, I'm sure this is very, very common among especially new traders you see that setup and you think it's going to work but you forget that it's all probability there is no way you would know that this particular trade is going to win and there's no way to know and you have to really really believe that you really have to internalize that because really there's no way to know which trade is going to win like i've said in the past if we knew we would risk our whole accounts on one trade that's the reason why we are constantly being taught to risk one to two percent one to three percent of our account because you can still lose five trades in a row and still be okay However, if you're trying to make a lot, of a lot of money on that particular trade, you end up losing a lot of money because you all have no idea whether a trade is going to win or lose. But most people don't have that uh, concept, don't believe in that concept. Somehow, they believe there's, there's a strategy out there that wins all the time. I'm sorry to bust your bubble, guys. There's no strategy like that. Okay? There is no strategy like that. So let's go. So, 90% of traders lose money like I've already alluded to. Okay? The main reasons why these traders lose money is because they have poor risk management. They have no age. And there is no proper trading psychology. What is proper risk management? Like I've already said, risk making sure that you are risking one to three percent of your account consistently every time. Not just when just one trade. Every time you're taking any trade, you are risking one to three percent of your account because you have no idea which trade is going to win. You have no idea. All you are doing is having an educated guess. Okay that that trade might go in your favor right and you have to ask yourself how much am i willing to pay to find out if this trade is going to go in my favor in my direction how much am i willing to lose in order to find out if this trade is a winner that's what you're supposed to be asking yourself before you taking any particular trade age an age is simply an indication of a higher probability of one thing happening over another over a series of trades this is your strategy right here okay your strategy does not tell you on a trade by trade basis which one is going to be a winner what it simply does is it gives you a higher chance of your setup winning of a series of trades not one trade but you're talking about the next hundred trades therefore you make yourself a winner by staying in the game 
by respecting your risk management every time. That's how you stay in the game. If you're trying to make money on a very on every trade, if you're trying to make a lot of money on one particular trade by risking a lot, you are going to lose a lot. It's simple as that. And that's this is what kills most people. This is what kills most traders. Okay? They don't understand that it's a long game. It's not about making money now. No trading psychology. Before you came to trading, you didn't care about uh, trading psych about about psychology, about your emotion. Probably didn't you didn't realize that you had all those emotions uh, which were just there lying around. Now that you are put you are putting risk on a trade. Now that you are putting money on the trade, those emotions are going to arise. Those emotions are going to be there. And you need to be able to manage those emotions. You need to understand and be able to control and master the, those emotions. There is no way to eliminate emotions. You cannot eliminate emotions. You cannot trade like a robot. You are a human being. You are an emotion being. You are made of emotions. You will never be able to eliminate them. That's what makes you you. Okay? So, quit trying to uh, eliminate them. What you can do is master your emotions. Be the master of your emotions. How can you do this? You can learn how to meditate. You can exercise. You can control your breathing. When you find yourself in a stressful environment, when you're taking a trade and uh, you start to feel in the emotions coming to you or coming within you, trying to like start to panic, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Okay? Do the, 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 uh, make sure that you are able to take those deep breaths. Okay? Because those are going to help you calm you down, calm the stress down. You have to have a daily process that you go through. Otherwise, if you don't manage your emotions, you cannot last for the long run. Because once they get triggered, you are either going to revenge trade when you get into a losing trade or you over risk on any particular trade because you've just lost on the previous trade and in this game it only takes one trade to wipe your whole account it just takes one it just takes one trade it just takes one bad trade you might get you might get away with those nice two wins three wins in a row but it only takes one lose one lose and your whole account can be wiped out that's by making one stupid mistake. Age. There is no strategy that works 100% of the time. There is no such a strategy. Please stop looking for a holy grail. The holy grail you're looking for is within you. It's within you. It's about you mastering your emotions. Trading respecting your risk management every time and you being able to master your emotions that's the holy grail that's what most people don't tell you right so it's very important so if you look at this diagram here you see that all traders start with a dream to get rich quick we all started with that dream of trying to make money now, right? Because of what we saw on Facebook, on Instagram, on Telegram. That's what we saw. And that was just a marketing strategy. Just engineered to lure you into trading. With false hope of being able to flip your accounts in 24 hours. 
that's not true that's not trading that's gambling however if you are thinking of the long-term goal if you want to reach that level where you're able to trade consistently you must have proper risk management you must have an age you must have proper trading psychology so of all traders that start to trade 40% trade only for one month and they quit why because they all wanted to do what they wanted to make money right now they end up quitting and 80% of traders quit with the within the first two years within the first two years you probably might have developed some age or you might have you might be system jumping or system hopping trying to find that strategy or you must you might have you might be struggling with the emotions in whatever stage you might be most people quit because they realize that you, you can't make money right now you can't make money quickly and therefore they quit right and only seven percent remain after five years only seven percent remain after five years these are the ones that have realized that trading is not a get rich quick scheme rather it is a long-term game it's about respecting risk management on a trade by trade basis it's about believing in their age even when it's going through a losing streak it's about knowing how to manage those trades it's about risking one to three percent of your account and believing in your age and being able to objectively identify your setups every time that's what makes you different that's what keeps you in the game all those who are trying to make money right now end up quitting because that's not sustainable it's not sustainable enough therefore they end up quitting according to this they say only one percent of all traders can profit uh can um, profit net of, of fees so you can see that only a few percentage of, of traders remain after five years only about seven percent seven to ten percent remain after five years so which one do you want to be ask yourself right now what kind of a trader do you want to be do you want to be the one that wants to make money right now and end up quitting in the first two years or you want to be the one that uh manages to be uh to remain even after five years of trading so the choice is yours if you want to make money right now you over risk you have no plan you have no exit plan you have no take profit plan you just you are all over the place it's all up to you if you want to be systemic you are objectively identifying your setups you you are learning how to control your emotions you are you are learning to respect your risk management and then you are thinking long term because this is not a get rich quick scheme anyone can make money on one trade but being able to make money consistently now that's different that's different so you choose you choose which one you want to be you choose what kind of a trader you want to be so how do we become part of the 10 percent that remain after most of these traders have lost their money how do we become the 10 percent of trade to, how do we become part of the 10 percent of traders that are able to extract profit consistently from the market well we need to manage and master our emotions you need to understand what kind of a trader you are we, are, we all have different temperaments we are all raised differently 
we are different. Identify what kind of a trader you are and be able to trade according to your personality. If, uh, for example, you are a very patient person, you, you don't feel rushed, your personality is calm, you can't trade on the one minute time frame or on the lower time frame, like the five minutes, if two minutes time frame. That's not you. You probably can make a very good swing trader or a position trader, right? And uh, for example, if you are you're a very, very fast person, you like to think fast, you, you are fast in everything, right? You will make a very, very bad swing trader because you won't be able to handle or manage those trades. You can't hold on to those trades for a long time because you don't just have much patience. That's not how you are. So you must identify what kind of a trader you are and be able to trade like that. If you like to trade fast, you want to you like to think fast like that. You are that that's your personality. Then trade on the lower time frame. You're able to make money from that from, from that particular time frame. And like to trade and like trying to trade on the higher time frame where you are you have to hold trades overnight or for two weeks or for, for a week. You can't do that. So you have to identify what kind of trader you are. Master your emotion. Know when those emotions are about to come and know how to control them. If you enter into a position and you realize that you have a tendency to overtrade or to revenge trade when you enter into a losing trade, just take that trade and close your laptop or your desktop, switch off your desktop and step out of that setup. Step out of your trading desk. Take a walk. Do something because you know that if you stay at that particular desk, you're most likely going to mess it up. You find a way of messing it up. You find a way of messing it up that is going to prevent you from doing that. So if you step up away from your from your from, from your from your setup, you realize that you would have prevented all that. You would have prevented all that. So that takes mastery. That takes you mastering your emotions, knowing what kind of a trader you are. That's what it takes. Okay? That's what it takes. You need to know when you're feeling emotion, when you're feeling that age to trade and there's no, there's no setup appearing. Master your emotions. Be able to control your breathing when you're trading. If you feel emotion, don't trade. Just step away. Do something. That takes you to be able to identify those emotions before they occur. That's what you call emotion intelligence. EQ. So understand what kind of a trader you are. Okay? Respecting risk management. I've preached so much about this, yet, this is not talked about. Risk management risk management is very, very important. And it has a direct impact on your trading psychology. On your emotions it has a direct impact the higher the load size that you use the higher the emotions are going to be so trade with the load size or with the risk that will be in sync with your emotions and don't trade the amount of money you're not willing to lose trade with money that you are willing to lose that will actually ease your emotions and remember that you have no idea what's going to happen on the next trade. You have no idea whether a trade is going to win or lose. What you know is when you take these setups, every time they appear, you are going to make money at the end of the day. That's what an age means. It's not... Uh, 
being confident that this trade is going to win it's about being confident that as long as i continue to identify my setups i'm going to make money at the end of the day the outcome is going to take care of itself i have no control over outcome the problem is that you are trying to have control over what you don't have control over you have no idea what's going to what's going to happen on the next trade you might take the exact same setup right now and take it in the afternoon you can still lose money or make money in the afternoon you have no control over what's going to happen you have no idea the problem is that most traders out there on youtube on facebook on telegram on instagram don't tell you the truth they don't tell you the truth they all lose but we won't show you they are losing trades they lose money but they won't show you that they're losing money why is that because they're trying to sell you a course they're trying to sell you their signals their services okay this is the game of probability and right here on our channel we do nothing but tell you the truth we tell you the real truth because it's rare that people talk about this. Losses are part of the game and we're supposed to embrace them, learn from them and become better. We should not try and avoid losses because losses are part of the game. What we can do, however, is respect our risk management such that even if we lost two or three times in a row, we are going to be okay. Our accounts are going to be just fine. However, if you're trying to make money a lot of money on a particular trade by over risking well your time will come your time will come okay then for us to be in the 10 percent we have to think long term long term whenever you're taking a trade tell yourself this trade is just one of a thousand trades i'm going to take therefore i don't Care what happens to this trade whether I win or lose I'm still going to take more trades ahead that's how you're supposed to think like you're supposed to think long term if you're just trying to make money on one trade you over risk you have emotions and all that you end up losing and you end up quitting because you think trading doesn't work however if you master your emotions you respect your risk management on every trade and have an age so most people when we talk about a strategy or an age most people are always thinking about a risk i mean a a, a, a winning trade a, a strategy that has got a 90 percent win rate or a hundred percent win rate where they don't have to lose that's the reason why people, most people end up quitting because they will never find such a system all strategies go through drawdown all strategies lose trades all of them but as long as you have a positive risk to reward ratio you are going to be just fine as long as you have a risk to reward ratio of one to three one to four and above you are even just a one to two you will still be okay as long as you respect your risk management okay it's all about respecting risk management and trading on a probabilistic mindset thinking long term if you do these things if you respect your risk management you have an age and uh, you control and master your emotions then you are working towards becoming the 10 percent of people that make money consistently master your emotions read books like trading in the zone the discipline trader these are very, very important books for you to read. Get an audio book. Listen to those books every time and then. Every now and then, listen to those books. Respect your risk management. Know exactly how much you are risking on that particular trade before you're taking any trade. Know exactly what you are standing to lose if that trade goes against you. Every, not just one, not just here and there, but every time. 
in half an age. So if you check, if you've looked, if you've been uh, with us for a long time now, you realize that we have a quite a good strategy, a good strategy with the massive risk reward ratio. Our hit rate might be between 75, I mean about 50 to about 60, 65 percent, but we have massive risk reward ratio. We have good risk to reward ratio and I've put out a lot of videos trading live and showing you my system and all that. Please watch that. If you are interested in our programs, the links are down in the description. We offer mentorship, we offer signals and we also offer um, books. We sell books as well about our strategy. If you don't have an age or you're trying to find an age, please the links are down in the description. Think long term. This trade I'm taking right now is not, it's part of the thousand trades I'm going to take. Therefore, whatever, whatever happens, it should not have a bearing on, whatever, on, uh, on me. It's not a reflection on me. It's just part of the process. It's all about series of trades. Series of trade. That's all it's all about okay i really hope that you're actually finding value in this if you do please subscribe like the video comment in the comment section and do all that you guys i really hope that you found some value in this i really hope that you actually find value in our content i know these are the videos that don't get so much views on youtube elsewhere everywhere actually but these are the most important videos that you need to watch as a retail trader for you to actually have that mindset that will make you be part of the 10 percent until next time guys goodbye and god bless you